Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Drive. Something uh, a little bit different today, going to have a look at a uh, Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. Um, basically a nice lightweight Lamborghini from 2012 for sale at Ashgood. Um, so sit back, enjoy the video uh, and uh, there'll be more content coming your way very soon. Okay everybody, I've arrived at Ashgood Porsche and as you can see, there's a mighty fine collection in here. Now it's absolutely peeing down outside, so uh, we're indoors today and um, just want to take you through some of the cars that they've currently got in their showroom. So enjoy, here we go. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of The uh, the Drive by Gigi, that's me, and uh, today I've returned to Ashgood Porsche and we are going to spend some time exploring this fantastic Lamborghini Gallardo Super Leggera. And uh, I've spent a few, few moments just looking around the car and uh, as you know, if you subscribe and watch my videos, most of the cars are Porsches, um, but today uh, Lamborghini, I'm a big fan, have been all my life, uh, especially of the Countach. Um, and yeah, just had a look around this car and it, some things really stand out about this car um, that I think makes it worth the sort of the asking price, which is £115,000. There's a low, low mile car, 15,900 miles. Um, these new were £175,000 without any options. Um, so it's really good value, really, really good value. And it's completely different to a Porsche. Um, there's lots of exposed carbon weave everywhere around the car. The wing mirrors um, on the back engine bay, the wing uh, inside, as you open the doors, there is, um, you can see the carbon weave on the door inlay, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, and, and what stands out to me first straight away when you get in the cabin is actually you sit quite high up I, I, now I'm not sure if it is because the car is so low it feels like you're sitting quite high compared to a Porsche but it, you get a really good view out the front um, and it could be that the the slope on the on the screen and the bonnet is so severe that the view is really really good um, so yeah initial views engine bay awesome you can see the whole engine um, carbon fiber weave everywhere it's very low great visibility and the cabin is completely different to a Porsche so this should make for a, a good video okay right just to run you through some facts on this uh, this car four-wheel drive limited edition um, this one's the automatic it's a V10 5.2 litre and boy, does it look good through that glass pane. 
if I look that good, I think I'd have a glass, a bit of glass showing me off as well. But yeah, that looks really, really good. Um, top speed, 200 miles an hour, 562 horsepower, 540 newton meters of torque. And this is the lightweight version, the Super Legera, which saves 70 kilograms off the original car, which makes this one weigh around 1,340 kilos, which is amazing considering it's got a big five litre lump in it. Um, it's not a huge car, um, but it is quite wide, but yeah, it's delicious. I'll tell you what, for the price, this is a no brainer. Um, we've got thin glass. Um, you can probably, yeah, thin glass on the back and side windows. Um, the rear window is actually perspect and the side windows at the back here, they're, they're perspex as well. So there's lots of lightweight saving things, carbon wing mirrors. Um, the wheels on this are 13 kilograms lighter than your normal Gallardo. Um, Nought to 60 in this beast comes up in three and a half seconds, which is pretty impressive going back to 2012. Um, so yeah, they're the key, key stats. Right, moving on to these <coughs> delicious wheels. I'll tell you what, these wheels are really similar to the, um, the 987 Spider wheels on the Boxster. Um, very, very similar design actually. Um, but really nice these ones stick out maybe a bit more Lamborghini badge and you've got the Lamborghini on the on the calipers as well which looks really nice um, 19 inch wheels <coughs> all around um, 380 mil brakes on the front and 355 mil brakes on the back I think they're six piston calipers at the front and I think they're four at the back but yeah beautiful wheel design really lovely and shiny and um yeah, sets off this fantastic and beautiful Lamborghini. Real piece of work. Right, I really wanted to get in um, just how steep this rake is on the bonnet and just how short the bonnet is. Now, obviously, the engine's in the back, so this doesn't need to be big, but it really does stand out. I mean, it's, you know, it's about as long as my arm. It really is short. So I think that really gives you the inside view of the, uh, when you're looking out from the car, you literally, it's like you're driving on the road, it's amazing. And it's got such, so many nice angles on the, on the bonnet here and on the front splitter. It really is, it really is an aggressive looking, looking car. Really, really cool. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, climbing into this car, it really is stunning in here. You've got Alicantara everywhere, all over the dashboard. I think it's on the roof as well. And you're greeted by this fantastic size, perfect size rim Lamborghini steering wheel. Um, white dials, and I can't really see, but it looks like it goes up to 200 miles per hour. Um, you've got this carbon weave all on the do inside door lays, which is really lovely. I've not seen that before. Um, and then you've got speakers built into it, uh, electric windows, fabric door pull, but that is really lovely. Seeing that carbon weave on the doors is beautiful. Um, the, it's funny, this car, if you want to put it in reverse, you've actually got a button here on the dashboard. I'll show you that closer up in a minute. Here, yeah, button here. You've got the um, sport mode, Corsa mode which is for the track and then just above that you've got the front lift for the the front of the car to help you go over speed bumps but it's a fantastic cabin and with these little windows here yeah, it just gives you a bit more view out of that front window because you are very low um, but to be honest the view out of the rear view mirror is pretty good that is not too bad I've been in worse views than that and um, yeah, one of the other great things about this car uh, is that when you look in the wing mirrors, um, all you can see are these huge arches sticking over the, sticking out. Uh, uh, you wouldn't tire of seeing that. And these seats, they're very firm, but they are comfortable. Um, I don't know what they'd be like on a long journey, but, but yeah, they certainly feel really nice in your body. These are all carbon, carbon as well, saving weight. 
um, the carbon weave continues inside the car on the um, on this mid tunnel here um, sat nav screen is there yeah it looks really good it looks way better in person than it does on the internet so if you are interested in cars like this you've really got to see them in person and i can only imagine that this drives so good Okay, one thing I have noticed is the fuel filler cap is on the top. Now, if you're like me, going to fill this car up, you're probably going to be really messy, so you might want to carry a cloth with you in the car to wipe up any, any spillage. Okay, now, with the engine running, I just want to give you the sensation from inside the car. Um, <clears throat> so you can actually just shut the door. Yeah, so from inside the car, when the engine is ticking over, you can feel it through your whole body, through the steering wheel, and um, yeah, it feels delicious. And then from behind, you can't really see much, but yeah, it really is a special place to be. Whoever is going to own this car is going to be a very happy person. It's been a, a pleasure showing this to you today. Remember, please like and subscribe to the video. Um, thanks for everybody who does and who comments. Um, there'll be more content coming soon. I'm going to try and find a Lamborghini Countach to do next, I think. And maybe a Pantera. <coughs> so, there we go. Uh, have a great, uh, great rest of the month. And uh, I look forward to sharing more content like this with you in the future.